Hello fellow Girl Scouts, my name is Nala and welcome to World Thing Day 2021. Today we're going to be making pin wheels. So you should have printed out your pin wheel templates, hopefully you guys can see those dotted lines on there. And so what you're going to do is you're going to cut off the box, you're going to cut up to these lines and make sure not to cut all the way through the center, and then you're, cut out, you're going to cut out your little peace sign on the bottom of the pen on the front of your pin wheel. You're also going to need a pen, scissors to cut out your pin wheel, and a pencil to put your pin wheel on. You also might want crayons so that you can decorate your pinwheel and you're also going to want like a colored pencil or a sharpened pencil so that you can write on your pinwheel what peace means to you. So while I cut out this, Starbell behind the camera is going to read to you guys about Pinwheels for Peace. The Pinwheels for Peace project is a global movement of people who plant pinwheels in the ground outside public places like libraries and schools. Each year on September 21st, the International Day of Peace. When the Girl Scouts joined the Pinwheels for Peace movement in 2011, more than 4 million pinwheels were planted at thousands of locations around the world. One group arranged all their pinwheels to create the shape of a giant peace sign. You can even organize a Pinwheels for Peace event in your community and create an entire garden full of pinwheels. Okay, so I am almost have my peace sign cut out right here. There we go. So you should have your little peace sign and then I cut out my square and so then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut up those dotted lines. Like I said, make sure not to go all the way through the center so it'll look somewhat like that. Then we're going to do that to all four corners. It's gonna look somewhat like this. Your lines don't have to be perfect. You've got like a little cut out in each corner like that. So once you've done that, you're gonna take your peace sign and your pin, and you're gonna wanna make sure that you poke the pin through the center of the peace sign. Hope you guys can see that. Um, make sure not to poke yourself because obviously this is gonna hurt and we don't want anyone to get hurt. So be careful when doing that. And then you're gonna wanna set that to the side. You're going to take your pinwheel and you're going to want to take all the black dots and you're going to bend them towards the center and then just hold them there and then go all in the same direction like this. It might be a little hard so you might need an adult to help you hold the pieces together and you guys will probably have like a table or a flat surface in front of you to help you out a little bit so hopefully it won't be as difficult but once you fold it it should look like that. And then you're going to take your peace sign and you're going to very carefully place it on the front and then you're going to want to poke it through the center. Once again, be careful not to poke yourself because we don't want anyone to get hurt. It might take a few tries to get it through the center. There we go. Now that you've gotten your Peace sign through, you're going to take your pencil and you're going to put the pen into the eraser of the pencil because you can't poke it through the wood. And then you've got your working pinwheel. Have fun everyone!